Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I even play things, and I'm always spending too much time opening Marvel cards. Today we're going to be doing a hobby versus retail battle of Marvel Annual 21-22. Here on the left, I've got a hobby box of Marvel Annual. This goes for about $85 online. And on the right, I've got four retail blaster boxes of the same product. They go for $19.99. I picked these up at Walmart.com. I've been trying to get some more from Target so that I can use my Target Red card and get an additional 5% off, but I haven't been able to catch any in stock. So I went ahead and ordered some from Walmart. All right, let's go ahead and open up some of these retail blasters. There's our six packs right there on the right. Each of these retail blasters has six packs. So we're gonna have 24 total for about $80 versus the 16 total in the hobby box. And the pack art is different between retail and hobby. Here's a close-up look at the retail pack art. All right, so here's pack number one from this first retail blaster box. Angel base card, Purple Man base card. There's a Spider-Man canvas. Very happy to pull a canvas of that card. And then a Black Winter retail exclusive blue. Very cool looking card. And then a Craven base card to finish off that pack. Here's the pack number two from this first blaster box. Kazar base card, Blade base card, a Groot silver parallel, and then our blue is Penance, and finally a White Fox base card. Pack number three. Miles Morales base card. This is a base insert. Humble beginnings of Steve Rogers. A blue of silk. This is a great one. Glad to get another Spider-Man character blue. Gilgamesh base card and a Storm base card. Pack number four from the first blaster. A Scream base card. Beta Ray Bill base card. White Fox canvas. A Aaron Fisher blue parallel. Captain Britain, base card. Pack number five. Electronachios as Daredevil base. Gamma Flight number one spot, base insert. A blue parallel of Carolina Dean from the Runaways. Human Torch base and a Miss Marvel base. Right, and pack number six from this first retail blaster. A Chase base card, number one spot, Captain America annual insert. A Cersei, blue parallel. She-Hulk base card, and a Spider-Man base card. All right, so that was box number one. Here's Retail Blaster box number two. There are six packs all on the right side there again. Pack number one from box number two. Multiple man base card, X23 base card. Really like that one. A canvas of Echo, pretty cool. And a blue of Electronachios as Daredevil, very cool. And then a Drax base card. Next pack, pack number two from the second box. Cable base card, doing a bit of a salute. The Star Rookies of Somnus insert card, a Blue of Karma, Black Widow base card, and a Luke Cage. This cable card reminds me a lot of the uh, old Rob Liefeld art. All right, next pack. An Arrow base card, Magneto base card, a Silver parallel of Karma. A blue parallel of Marvel Girl. Very cool. And then a Gamora base. Pack number four of the second box. Daredevil base card. Number one spot of the Marvel's insert. An America Chavez blue parallel. Danny Moonstar base card. And Rogue base card. Pack number five from the second box. And a Gertrude York space card, a canvas of Captain America, pretty cool. Oh, we got a splash ticular 
in our blaster box. Then our blue is Immortal Hulk and a Lady Sif base card. Let's see if the splash ticular is short print. So N1S dash one. So no, Eternal Celestia number one. This is not one of the short print ones. And I'm pretty sure I already have this one actually. Nice to pull one of those out of a blaster box, but a bummer to get one that I already have. Here's pack number six from the second box. Namor base card, Noel base card, Humble Beginning Stephen Strange base insert. Ooh, a blue of Doctor Doom. Very cool. Thor base card. I love pulling these blue retail parallels of the key characters. Very cool cards. All right, so that was two of the boxes. Let's get into the third retail blaster. See if we can find anything bigger than the lenticular card, or if that will be the best insert pool that we'll have. All right, pack number one from box three. Black Winter base card, a canvas of Valkyrie, a blue of Yelena Belova, Thing base card, and Mr. Fantastic base card. Next pack has Penance base card, a Cersei base card, number one spot, the United States and Captain America number one insert, another blue parallel of Silk. That's awesome. I have some I can trade away maybe to help complete my set. And then Wolfsbane base. Pack number three from the third box. Yelena Belova base, a Sam Wilson canvas variant, Aaron Fisher blue again. Ultimatum base card and Doctor Strange base. Pack number four from the third box. A Silk base card. Aaron Fisher base card. <laughs> Star Rookies of Aaron Fisher right behind it. Pretty cool. I think I need this one. I don't think I've pulled this one yet. A blue of Thanos. Awesome. Very cool card. And behind it, a Ghost Spider base card. Pack number five from the third box. Thanos base card. A silver of Namor. A blue of Moon Knight. Awesome. Very cool. Onslaught base card and an Echo base card. All right. Last pack from the third box. A Moon Knight base card. Doc Ock base card, number one spot, Trials of Loki, Marvel Tales number one, insert card, a blue of Dr. Octopus, and then Captain America base. All right, three boxes down. We've got one retail blaster left. Let's see if we can find anything big to go up toe-to-toe -to -toe against the hobby box, or if it'll just kind of be the blue parallels that we'll have to compare. And then our stack of base cards, of course. All right. The six packs there on the right. Here's pack number one of the fourth retail box. Aaron Fisher base card again. Thanos base card again. Canvas of Echo. A blue of Cyclops. Very cool. This is a great looking card, especially with this version of his costume. And a base Captain America. Pack number two from this fourth box. Got a Moon Knight base card, a Luke Cage annual impact. Ooh, a blue of Ghost Rider. Spider Woman base card and a Philovel base. Pack three. Dr. Octopus base card, Icarus base card, a Captain America canvas. Cool. Molly Hayes. Blue parallel, then a Wolverine with no claws base card. Next pack from the fourth box. A Null base card, number one spot of Symbiote Spider-Man. Pretty cool base insert. A blue of Nova, Franklin Richards base card, and Sunfire base. All right, two more packs to go from the Retail Blasters. Pack five from the fourth box. 
It's a trinary base card. Ooh, an X-23 silver. Very happy to get this one. And another splash ticular. Awesome. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one yet. Our blue is magic. So this is a great pack. Then a base of Jessica Jones. Let's take a look at the splash ticular. See if it's one of the higher numbered ones. And this one is number two, Eternals number six. So not one of the short print ones, but I do need this one, I'm pretty sure. All right, last pack of the Retail Blaster. Got a Carolina Dean base card, a Sink base card, Humble Beginnings of Iron Man insert card, a Blue of Iron Man. Very cool to pull this one. And then a Loki base card. All right, so we'll do a little bit of a recap before I open the hobby box, and we'll do this again against the hobby packs after I open them. Is our stack of base cards, and then we will have 24 blue parallels, one from each pack. So six per box, four boxes, 24 blues. We pulled some really great ones. For canvas cards, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight canvas. So two per blaster box. And then for the silvers, we got one, two, three, four, one per blaster box. And then two lenticular cards. Both of these are lower numbered, so they're not short printed or higher tier. So it looks like we got, we got two out of four, so one out of two. Not bad. All right, so now we're going to crack open the hobby box and do a little bit of a comparison of what we got. We're not going to get as many base cards, of course, and we're not going to see any of the blue parallels since those are retail exclusives. But we should get at least three box hits, maybe an acetate or a numbered card, a splash ticular card, and one of the backscatter stickers. This is my fourth hobby box to open. So far, each one has had exactly three pulls. I don't know if the boxes can have more than three pulls or not, but we'll see. And just like all my other boxes, the row here on the bottom is upside down. Still wondering what is the deal with that. All right, so pack number one of the hobby box. The base cards and base inserts are the same. Should still get canvas and silvers, just like the retail ones. Trinary base, Carolina Dean base, number one spot of Shang-Chi insert card. And then this should be a silver yeah, of Franklin Richards and a Craven base card. I don't know why in the hobby packs my silvers have been backwards. In the retail boxes, they are not backwards. Here's pack number two. Of a Sync base card, Star Rookies Harrower insert. An Icarus canvas, She Hulk base, and a Spider Man base. Pack number three Warpath base card, Professor X base, number one spot of She Hulk. And then looks like a silver Wolverine. Very cool. And finally, a White Fox base. Pack number four from the hobby box. Nico Minoro base card. A humble beginnings of Doctor Doom base insert. Very cool. And a null canvas variant. Gilgamesh base card and Storm base card. All right, pack number five. Scream base card, Beta Ray Bill base, number one spot of King the Conqueror insert. Well, here's our acetate card. Set this down carefully and get a sleeve for it. Nova base card finishes off the pack. So this will be one of our three pulls for the box. And it looks like it is Thanos. Oh, this is a short print one, 115 out of 199. This is a great pull, number 45. Very cool to get this card. He does look a little scrawny here, so I'm not sure what Thanos has been up to recently. I'm not up to speed on his storyline. I wonder why he appears the way he does. If you happen to know, let me know down in the comments uh, what has happened to Thanos and what storyline I need to read to find out um, why he looks a little bit more like Rocket Raccoon and less like the big bulky Thanos that I grew up with.
Great looking card. Really happy to finally pull one of the shorter printed ones. My other boxes had the higher numbered ones. Card is clear and see-through. It's got the artwork printed on it and it has some foil rays on the background. And then it is serialized in the same foil as the rays. 115 out of 199. All right, so that is a pretty cool card to pull. Okay, next pack. This is pack number six. An Electra base card, Captain Marvel annual impact insert, a sink canvas, a magic base card, and Iron Man base card. Pack number seven. Got a Karma base card, Marvel Girl base, number one spot of the United States of Captain America insert again. Probably a silver of Spider Woman. Then a Quasar base card. Pack number eight. America Chavez base card. Star Rookies of Aaron Fisher insert. Warpath, canvas variant. Kang and Captain Marvel base card. All right, so that's half of the hobby box. This is pack number nine. Angel base card, Purple Man base. I see our backscatter sticker coming up. Number one spot of Moon Knight insert. And then our backscatter is Hawkeye. And a Captain Britain base card. I'm going to sleeve up the sticker real quick. I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally start separating the sticker from it. Cool looking effect. This is number B5. There's the second of our hobby box pools. We are still looking for one more. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be one of these splash particular lenticular cards, but we'll see. All right, pack number 10. A Chase Space Card, Doctor Strange Annual Impact, a Trinary Canvas, Human Torch Base, and Miss Marvel Base. Pack 11. Miles Morales Spider-Man Base Card, Humble Beginnings of Captain America Insert, a Carolina Dean Canvas, Ghost Rider Base, and Molly Hayes Base Card. Pack number 12. Kazar base, blade base card, number one spot, X-Men, the Trial of Magneto, and probably a silver, a Philavel, and then a Cyclops. Pack number 13. Immortal Hulk base card, Doctor Doom base card, number one spot, Trials of Loki. And I think we found our splash particular card. Looks like it has Thor on it. And then a rocket base card. Let's take a look at the back. We're hoping for a higher numbered card. Let's see, it is number 17, Thor number five. So this is definitely one of the short printed ones. I can't remember off the top of my head uh, which tier of short printing it is. It'd be a tier two or tier three. I'll have to go back and look, but I think this is maybe the first shorter printed one that I've pulled. Definitely going to sleeve this one up. Didn't sleeve the other ones up since uh, one was a duplicate and they're the lower tier ones. They're pretty common, but definitely want to get this one in the sleeve. That's the third of our box pulls, I'm pretty sure. Here's pack number 14. Dormammu base card. Humble Beginnings of Wolverine. It's a great one to get. Professor X canvas and Mantis base and Drax base. Pack 15, next to last pack. A Toad base card, Hercules base, planet size X-Men number one spot, another silver it looks like, of Captain America, and a Black Widow base. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get one more pull. Probably not. I think pretty much each box has exactly three pulls. Scarlet Spider base card, a Toad Annual Impact, Canvas of Nico Minoru, base of Luke Cage, and Gamora base. All right, so that was the hobby box. So on the hobby side, we got 
our guaranteed box pulls. Now, of course, the lenticular are available in the retail blasters and the backscatter stickers, I'm pretty sure, are available in the retail blasters as well. I don't think you can get the suspended animations, but correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments. I do think these are hobby exclusives, but that $85 price point, we did get three guaranteed pulls. For canvas and hobby, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight in hobby. And then in the same dollar value of retail blasters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So exactly the same amount of canvas for $80. For silvers, we had five, one, two, three, four, five in hobby. And then in retail blasters, we had four, one per box. So very similar. Then we came in with the two lenticulars. So one more than the hobby box. So it feels a little bit similar. Let's make some room to compare the stacks of the base cards. So here's the stack of base and inserts from the Retail Blasters. And then here's the 16 packs worth. I'm not going to do the math right now, but just eyeballing it uh, from the same amount of money of Retail Blasters. You got roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Roughly 18 more base and base inserts for the same dollar amount. However, what the retail blasters do have that the hobby will never have are these beautiful retail blue parallels. And we, of course, got one per pack, so there's 24 of these. Since one card per pack is guaranteed to be the blue foil, that's why there's not as many more base cards in the four retail blasters, even though there are eight more packs. Take a quick look at these. I really love these blue parallels. Uh, I, I think they are beautiful, and it's a good incentive for people to go buy and crack these retail blasters. Also helps you complete your base set. I'd really like to go ahead and complete these myself. Just off the top of my head, I think I'd actually rather rip the retail blasters to try to complete this blue set and then get a bunch of the lenticulars and stickers put together. I like the suspended animation cards, but that's not a very big draw for me for the hobby boxes. So I think I'd rather just go ahead and buy some retail blasters over the hobby boxes. Let me know down in the comments what you think, what you think is the better value. If you're still collecting any of these, if you've enjoyed this video and like to see more Marvel trading card related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help up my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.